This is uh, uh, really two questions uh, in one. Uh, we know uh, that uh, uh, there's a, uh, a very strong link between uh, diabetes uh, and Alzheimer's disease. Uh, so the, the, the beta cells, which are the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin, also produce a substance called uh, amylin. Uh, and in people who have Alzheimer's, uh, the this same amylin that's produced by the beta cells has also been found in the plaques uh, in the brain that are related to Alzheimer's uh, disease. Uh, so there, there is a, a, a strong link, and the link may be related to the substance called uh, amylin. Now, uh, the second part of the question uh, has to do with diabetic uh, coma and the subsequent development uh, of strokes. Most people who develop diabetic coma uh, develop it because of a very high blood sugar uh, level. Uh, but uh, because there uh, is usually a decrease in blood flow to the brain in people who develop uh, diabetic coma due to a high uh, blood sugar level, uh, it's not uncommon for them to have small strokes uh, that uh, can lead uh, to neurologic impairment as the person goes through uh, life. But you also must remember, because diabetics develop hardening of the arteries, and this can affect the blood vessels that go to the brain, the development of strokes uh, 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 is very common in people who have diabetes, whether or not uh, they've had episodes of diabetic coma in the past.